Hello and welcome to Pro Tips for Positrack Pro, our online video training series. This is the second part in a series of videos on the basics of point of sale. In this video, we will cover the catalog, taking payments, adding and editing accounts, adding and editing parts, creating hold tickets, and more. Feel free to pause the video at any time to try it yourself. Let's begin with cataloging. If I have my account looked up in point of sale first before I start a catalog lookup, the pricing in the catalog will reflect that account's uh, specific pricing. So I'll look up the account first and then click the catalog button at the top. The vehicle populates on the left side as I look up parts, look up the vehicle. These are all single clicks with the mouse. When I get down to the end, I can single click and click get parts or double click to jump straight to it. Let me go back and point out that I can also look up uh, with the VIN number. It only requires the first 10 digits of the VIN number. Or I can select out of my list of recent vehicles down at the bottom left. Let me go back through and select a car. Once I have the vehicle in there, I can go back by clicking on any of these um, segments here to go back if I selected the wrong engine um, or wrong model. I can go back, I can click there, and it will return me uh, to the vehicle selection. Once I have a vehicle look, looked up, I can also click fluids and specifications to get uh, oil capacities and so on. When I'm looking at the, the part categories here, I can browse through or I can type in a search term, press enter, and it will take me straight to it. There is an advantage though of browsing through the categories. If you go through the categories, again, these are single clicks. When you get to the, the last category, you can single click to get more than one at a time or even a select all if that makes sense or you can double click to go straight to it once i see parts the green numbers are the ones that show up at the top they're the numbers that i have in stock sorted by on hand below that i'll come across numbers that are in blue and those are numbers that i'm either out of or it may say NS for non-stocking. I can get pictures and more information by clicking the more info button at the right. That will show me pictures, specifications, even a buyer's guide. If I want to sell this part, Anywhere across the line here, I can double click with the mouse. It will bring that number back into point of sale where I can preview the quantity and the price. And if it's ready to go on the invoice, I can just hit enter. Notice that it puts the vehicle on the invoice and that also prints on the hard copy. If I need to continue looking up parts, I can go back to the catalog button and it picks up right where I left off. I can hit the new car button if I need to look up a whole new vehicle, or if I need to continue looking up parts for the same vehicle, I can just click the top on the uh, category display up here, and it will start at the top level category. So those are the basics on how to um, navigate the catalog. We have other videos that uh, give more advanced, more in-depth um, look at the catalog if you uh, want to check those out. I want to point out a shortcut key here to clear the screen. Um, it's always a good idea to, to start fresh uh, when you want to start a new invoice um, just in case uh, maybe another counter person had started something or was in the middle of something you don't want to bill a ticket to the wrong account. So it's a good idea to when you walk up to the screen if it's not clear clear it out uh, to start a new invoice. You can do that by clicking the clear invoice button at the top right 
There's also a shortcut key on the keyboard, F2, and then Enter will clear the screen and start with a, uh, a new invoice. Let's look at, on, uh, look at how to take a payment. So the first thing we need to do is get the account looked up. Then we can click the ROA button, Received on Account, to the right. That will prompt us for a payment amount. We can enter that amount in. Press Enter. And then the last step will give us a place to specify cash, credit card, or check if we um, prefer to do that. Once you hit Confirm, that ticket will finalize. Next, let's look at how to add and edit accounts directly from point of sale. If you have an account in here, take that account number out and you'll notice that the middle button here at the top right says add account. If you have an account in there, it says edit. So let's add one first. It defaults to a cash account, but you can change it to a charge. Let's just add a cash account for now. At minimum, a name is required, but you'll probably want to collect at least a phone number uh, and, or an email address. Let's just add this for now. Once I hit add account at the bottom right, it says account added and it gives me the account number and I can immediately start billing to that account. So let's look at how to edit that account. I'll click the edit button and let's go back and add an email address. Save changes and it's done. Now you can do the same thing with parts. So if you pull up a part number and you go to the shelf and you notice that your on-hand quantity is not what the computer displays, you can make a correction here by clicking Edit Part, making the correction, click Save Changes, and it's done. You can also add parts on the fly. So if you have a miscellaneous number, something not in your system that you want to add, once you clear out a part number, once there's no part number looked up here, you see this button changes to add part. You can click there, specify your line code, your part number, put a description on it, You can put an on-hand quantity if you choose and also specify your pricing and hit add part and it's done. Sometimes you'll have a customer, a charge customer that would rather pay uh, cash, maybe a, a one-time cash payment, either with their credit card, um, or they want it billed to their account for the history, but maybe they just want to pay cash. So here's how to do a one-time cash override on a charge customer. Get your customer in, build a part out, and if I click finalize, since this is a charge customer, I'll notice that charge to account is locked here when I go to finalize. But to do a one-time override, I can go back and click cash only at the top right and then finalize. And then I'll notice my options have changed to cash, credit card, or check. Next, let's look at how to uh, look at history and to reprint previous invoices. The simplest way is the view reprint button at the bottom right. I can click there and it will prompt me with a list of the most recent invoices. 
So I can double click to choose one from the list. I can also just type in an invoice number if I happen to know it, a specific invoice that I'm looking for. Once you have an invoice number there, you can reprint directly to the printer. You can view it on the screen first or even email it to them. I'll click view and it'll show it to me on the screen if I just need to reference the parts that are on that invoice or if I do need a hard copy, I can click print down at the bottom right. Another way of searching transaction history is with the transaction search here at Point of Sale. This is a comprehensive history of every transaction since day one on Positrack Pro. And you can search by date range, accounts or all accounts, line code or all lines, part number, invoice number, and so on. For the sake of example, I'll just type in an invoice number. Click retrieve. And it will pull up every line item on that invoice number. I've got the date, the quantity, line code, part number, description, what it cost me at the time, what I sold it for, and so on. I can right click on these line items for options like reprint, view, and email. I do want to point out one shortcut that makes uh, looking this up a lot easier. If you're looking at a specific account, you can do account number and the letter H for history and enter. That will pull up the transaction search screen with that account already designated and it will look up all the, the history that that account has. And again, your options are right click and you can reprint, view, and email. That H shortcut also works with a um, with a part number looked up. So if you have an account number and a part number looked up at point of sale, you can use an H here at the quantity field and it will cross the two, uh, the, the account number and the part number and pull up every instance that that account has bought that part. And finally, let's look at hold and quote tickets. Positrack Pro allows you to save an invoice in progress and recall it at a later time um, to uh, continue or, or finalize or add to it. So let me add this part to the invoice for this account. I'll click the Save button down at the bottom right. It'll give me a prompt. I'm going to answer No to print. And it's saved. Now I can recall this in two ways. I can use the recall button down at the bottom right and it will pull me a list of all my holds and my quote tickets and I could find it in the list. I can search. But I can also, if I use the account number, it will prompt me that way. This account has hold tickets. Do you want to recall? And I can answer yes. Choose it from the list. And from here, I can finalize it, I can add to it and resave it, or even cancel it if necessary. A hold ticket pulls the parts out of inventory so that they are already allocated. A quote, you can do a quote as well. A quote will go through the same motions, except it will not uh, pull it out of inventory. So it will um, create a hold ticket uh, sort of just without taking it out of inventory. And you can recall those the same way by the recall button. That's all for this pro tip video. Be sure to check out our other videos including uh, advanced cataloging. Um, there's a video on point of sale shortcuts to help you uh, navigate around point of sale a little faster. You can subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more information. Links for those are in the description below the video.